I don't want to make this video, but I believe it's necessary because I don't see that many people talking about it on YouTube right now. This is not going to be easy to watch, but if you're able to watch this, please do so. Everything I say in this video is all alleged. I am merely spreading information about a movement that is happening online right now. I first heard about Sophie on Facebook when a friend shared a video of her with a caption that said save her, and underneath she put a hashtag save the children. I clicked on the video out of curiosity and was disgusted with what I saw. Just a warning from here on out, this video is going to get pretty disturbing. After watching that one minute clip, I did some more research and came across this post on Twitter. Sophie's father, Michael Long, was forced to return her to her mother on August 25th, 2020, putting Sophie and her brothers back into the hands of their abusers. Texas law enforcement and CPS need to answer for their failure to protect these young children from the horrific abuse they are being subject to. This is a video of Sophie Long during a forced custody exchange disclosing to her grandmother Kim, Sophie's mother's mom, that Jake has been touching her and mommy watches it happen. Please do something. The last text that we received from Sophie after returning her to her mother stated that her room had been stripped of every single item, including all clothing, except for a bare mattress. The same mattress where her many sexual assaults have occurred. We have not been able to see or speak with the children since the return to their mother on 8-25-2020 and have been notified by their teachers that all three children have not attended school since the custody exchange. We fear that they are We fear that they are in immediate danger. Please take action to save these three young children. There is a longer video of Sophie that I found on YouTube. I will play some of it here and I will link the rest of it in the description down below. your mom's visit time, okay? We can get well, the car, we can drive. Well, my mom can't wait. Well, yes. I thought she can't wait. Well, she's not going to see me. Ready? Come on. <coughs> Just come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's get in the car. Sophie, come on. Sophie. I know, I know, I know. Look, well, she can't do those things if Mr. Jake isn't there anyway. There you go, or what? Sophie? Stop! Ow! 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 Ow
move your hands. Your hands. No. So, no. I think her hands. No. Is your hand stuck? Your hand no. no. <laughs> Sophie. You're I got the door open, you're yanking no, around. Because <laughs> you have a door open already. Please open the door. Open the door. Yes, uh, 4267. <laughs> what's... So what can we do to help? For starters, share this video or any video that you see about Sophie. It does not have to be mine. Spreading awareness is the best thing that we can do right now. Second, there is a petition started that you can sign on change.org for Sophie. I will leave a link in the description. Third, I found this on Twitter. It's about how you can contact the governor of Texas about this situation and what to say in the email. And if we can get any of the other big YouTubers talking about this, that would also help tremendously. If anyone else has any suggestions on how to help, please comment them down below. I apologize if I sounded angry in this video. Thank you for watching and let's save Sophie.